ex-wives have taught me anything, it's that there's no real limit to crazy. Like Carnage, Marvel's dangerously insane psychopath. Or Lucy, the messed up murder lady from Elfenlied. Elfenlied. It's German. Yeah, whatever. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. at the orphanage, then Cletus. Lucy really hates dog killers, and for good reason. Carnage was a challenging opponent. It was incredibly difficult for Lucy to deal any lasting damage against him. He had the durability advantage in the bag, though Lucy fighting as a puddle proved she could take a lot of pain and keep on fighting. Sadly, Carnage came up short in pretty much everything else. Right, Carnage was tough, but not invincible. Even his surviving that gene bomb isn't quite as impressive as it sounds. Since he had no other feats to even remotely back up planetary level durability, and the bomb was more akin to a biological weapon anyway. While Carnage's tendrils could pass speeds of Mach 2, Lucy's vectors once reached into outer space. By timing her accompanying monologue and comparing the longest vector's length to the curvature of the Earth, it's clear she reached over 2,400 miles in 20 seconds max. Way longer than Carnage's two mile feet. All this means her vectors were moving at least 440,000 miles per hour. More than 500 times the speed of sound, and 250 times faster than Carnage. Good luck getting past that! And this was really the biggest hurdle. With Lucy's redonkulous speed and Carnage's healing powers, it all boiled down to one thing. Who could hit the killing blow first? I mean, Carnage could respawn from scraps, so the only way to beat him for good was to totally vaporize him. 
and Lucy had the perfect answer to that. Remember that time she hit an island so hard she caused a 9.2 magnitude earthquake and a 100 foot tall tidal wave? Such a feat would require an enormous amount of explosive energy, approximately 31,000 tons of TNT, similar to the bomb that hit Hiroshima. It's literally compared to nuclear fusion in the Elfin Lied manga. Elfin Lied, it's German. <laughs> The point is, in order to beat Carnage for good, Lucy needed to totally obliterate him, and she could do that. The heat produced within the initial impact of a nuclear explosion can reach temperatures up to 180,000 degrees Fahrenheit, more than 18 times hotter than the surface of the sun. And to top it off, heat was Carnage's biggest weakness. Even if Lucy's explosive force was just a fraction of this, it would still have been far too much for him. She just needed to smack him before he could power through her vectors, which chances were pretty slim for that happening anyway because there's a bunch of them and they're so damn fast. Hitting Carnage with a big explosion punch was way easier. Cletus and his symbiote may have had the endurance, but Lucy's space-worthy speed, overwhelming presence, and nuclear strength won the day. She dealt the Carnage needed for a total victory and took the lead. There, I said it right, Wiz. Happy? The winner is Lucy.